Hey guys, so what we're gonna work on today is circles and one of the best exercise I love to do for circles and for creating more balance and focus um, is the Garocha. So what you're gonna see right there is the Ya, she's one of my students and I like to do it both with horses and riders. So you can do it with your own horse at your own time and if you're a riding instructor, this is a great exercise to try with your students and you don't need much of, um, you don't need accessories for that, you just need that pole and you can have um, a 370 wooden pole, this is the original, but you can go with uh, plastic poles, a telescopic pole that's used for cleaning pools, this is great, this is what we usually use, just make sure it's not too heavy so you'll feel comfortable holding it for a long period of time. And what you're gonna see her doing right there, she's just walking, she's finding her circle. And you will see it on the sand, after a few circles, you will see the draw, like she's drawing a line on the sand. And she's maintaining the tip of the pole that's on the ground, she's maintaining it at the same place the whole time, and she's not dragging it with her. And one of the greatest things that we're, you're gonna feel while doing that is first of all, how much we need to use our body and not only our hand or legs to guide our horse and how effective it is to make sure that we are using this the correct position and correct posture with our body to guide our horse and I've written about it in the post and I will say it a lot more um, a lot more times what we do with our body is going to reflect immediately on our horse if you drop your shoulders and sit like a saggy potato bag, then your horse will move the same way. Don't expect them to do anything different. Once you gotta feel comfortable in a walk, move up to a jog or a trot, just pick up your speed as you go, but try to maintain the same size of the circle. And what you're gonna see right there, she's gonna move up to a lope, and she's holding the pole parallel to the same, uh, to the hand that's holding the reins kind of the same as riding two-handed. So she will maintain the same guiding movement that she's used to. And if you kind of have to adjust your hand and um, straighten it up or flex it all the way so you won't drag your pole around, that's okay. But try to find a position that you can keep for at least one circle without changing your hand. And if you kind of struggle with that, just stop for a second, lay the pole on the fence and go back to the basics. Make sure that you can kind of collect your horse a little bit, um, one-handed, kind of guide your horse a little bit. Um, don't rush into doing it at a lope. Go for the basics. When you go slow, things will happen fast. This is what I say the, all the time. You can ask everybody, go slow, and things will happen fast. If you need to stop for a second and make sure that you have what you were looking for, then this is okay. So I didn't cut this part off because this is an important part. When we change directions, we're gonna have one hand on top of the other, okay? And if it is too difficult for you, it is okay to stop for a second, switch hands and hold the pole again with your inside hand. And one thing about um, changing directions, first of all, try to face to the center of the circle and then try to face to the outside of the circle. And what I mean by that is you stop, you walk back a few steps, lift your hand that's holding a pole and then turn underneath it. This is the easier part of it. And if you wanna go one level up, try to do it facing the outside so the so you have to move uh, the hips a little bit and you have to flex your arm and find the correct position to do that you're not going to see her doing it today but this is the one level up and like said this is only the basic work with the garocha the garocha is an amazing art and it takes tons of practice and to get to a point that she can do that it took her a, f a lot of time a lot of time and her horse was not quite okay with doing such small circles and maintaining the same speed and balance but when she found out that she could when she did it okay when she found out that she can do it 
it helped her in so many ways, whether it was roping, showing, um, even bigger, faster circles and the transition to smaller circles that we see a lot in reining work, okay, was influenced by that because she had a lot more control, whether it was her body language or her horse. And as you can see right there, facing the inside and going to the other side again. Okay, this is it for today. Um, let me know what you think and I hope it will help you a lot. Goodbye.